Hey, what's up everyone? So you got to love the skills of these Arkham YouTubers, finding everything from references, callbacks, Easter eggs, lots of stuff when it comes to the Arkhamverse lore regarding Batman, the specific Batman portion of the Arkhamverse. Now, what's funny enough is that lots of people, because I remember talking about Batman Arkham Shadows in a slightly negative way. I mean, I still call it a great game, even though I, I, I haven't played it based on my overall, um, I, I, I guess I'll flat out say I just did, didn't really want to buy a headset just to play this game and waste money. And I think that's pretty much, you know, the same sentiment lots of other people have. I watched the whole quote unquote, um, movie online on YouTube, you know, the entire, um, run of the game. Again, I, I, thought the story the narrative was great that the, the voice acting was you know roger craig smith excelled and i really did miss his um his batman voice you know him as the role definitely was something i loved in, Ar in arkham origins now going to the actual game where this was mentioned by another youtuber breaking down some easter eggs where i i will credit the you know the actual video in the link you know have a link to the actual video that goes through some other easter eggs as well Obviously, I have to pay respect because I definitely did not find this at all. And I, and I bet lots of other people did not find this. But there's lots of stuff. Trust me, there's lots of stuff that connects heavily to Arkham Origins since this game is only like, what, six, seven months post that game. And also, um, stuff that sets up the future of the Arkham as well, like Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. So it's like, damn, you know, these guys, you know, the, 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 the studio and the devs behind this game went all out as um, fans of the IP. Now, going to the actual, um, I, I guess, Easter egg slash reference and setup for the future, where it's like, yeah, Dick Grayson is actually in the game. He's not um, really regarded as Richard Grayson, but there's references, there was always references in the Archiverse towards, um, you know, Haley Circus, where obviously, um, ten, I mean, um, Dick's parents... You know, the, the the whole accident with the type rope and all that stuff. But but I, I don't know exactly who caused it there. Because I know this definitely is a more original take on Dick Grace's origin and connections with Batman. But obviously for people who have, have you know, recognized the source material with Tony Zuko, the one that pretty much is, is to blame for um Dick's parents being killed, you know, falling off the... Role because it was tampered with and manufactured, quote unquote manufactured, but of course he messed with it. Um, there was always references to that, and and the, and the later shows being canceled because of course <laughs> those two died. So it's like yeah, a tragic accident. But I'll say Batman was keeping tracks with that, and I guess the rats have a um, connection. The rats, the rat group with the Rat King. For people who haven't seen the story yet or played the game, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but. I guess in a way there's connections to that, but the the real, I, I, in my opinion, the real nail to the coffin of of, of this whole um, and I, I don't even know if I use this term correctly, but <laughs> where where I saw that apparently you um during one pivotal scene where you fight a rat and it, and it seems that the rats do make up ordinary Gotham citizens who are sick of the, all the stuff that's going on. And how the city mistreats the less fortunate and people who are, you know, not the higher ups. But it seems like a, a big chunk of that actual rat group, that 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 crew, whatever you want to call them, are a bunch of like more younger men, more younger people in general. You know, like college students, teenagers, and then obviously a bunch of adults. But that that definitely was like. <laughs> The, the reason why I'm like scratch, left scratch from my head is because one moment that I, I, I talked about where it's like Batman confronts a rat that seems to be a adolescent, you know, a teenager. And basically what, what the actual video I, I took the clips from pointed out is that the teenager, the, the body, the, the design in general, the character design, the NPC, whatever you want to call it, this, this person... In general, had um, a Haley Circus jacket with the logo there. While, while Batman, because Batman full force, you know, beat this person up. <laughs> and that makes me just kind of scratch my head because I'm like, damn, that means you kind of, you know, you beat, first of all, you beat up a child. And second of all, it's like, 
you beat up a child that is going to be one of your closest allies and that you adopt in the future. But um, there was a moment where this, this to protect themselves, they pick up two sticks and they have the, like the, the same exact posture and, po and positioning as, you know, um, Nightwing with his sticks. So it's like, yeah, you, you can tell that that's meant to be um, Dick Grayson as a rat, as a, um, I guess, a newcomer to the organization. And um, there's even a moment where, because um, he's wearing a mask, but it falls off and you see his hair. And his hair pretty much is the same exact hairstyle as, you know, his, his Nightwing hair. So it's like that... <laughs> you know that that's that's Dick Grayson. You're beating up Dick Grayson, and they changes his his, uh, his actual origin to make him like I don't even want to call him a petty criminal because it doesn't seem like he has done anything yet. It's, it's like he's falling with the wrong group based on his past. Because I, I remember right away, Batman actually was in the audience where, when that happened, and he you know from there he adopted Dick, and then Dick later finds out about you know he's him being Batman. And then he wants to help and becomes Robin. And I, I know for... Because I am showing gameplay from the, the, the multiplayer um, mode that was in Arkham Origins that, that you play as Robin. And that mode takes place like, what, two years, three years after Origins where it's like... You know, you play as, as Dick Grayson as Robin. It's not Tim, it's Dick. The original dynamic duo, you know, Cape Crusaders. And... Um, that makes me think, I, I guess, if they ever make a continuation of, of this portion of, of, of the Arkhamverse, of the timeline, that they could very much could set up Dick, you know, becoming um, Robin already. And and I, re I remember in the actual credits of the game, there's a conversation with Leslie Tompkins talking about the, the adolescent child that, you know, was a former rat as being, I guess, counseled about. And obviously they're, they're flipping their ways to become, you know, good and positive. And that he should keep tabs on him. So it's like, yeah, that definitely is setting up, you know, Dick Grayson, I guess, being adopted by Bruce Wayne. I mean, he's, isn't he supposed to be more younger, though? Like, around, like, 9 to 11? I mean, there he looks like he could very much be, like, what, 14 to 15? I mean, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, no, that, 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 I saw that, and I was like, that definitely is. Because, to be honest, the, the Arkham timeline is very muddy. Like, like when the hell does... um. Jason come in and then Tim like it's, it's it's still confusing to me like you know when exactly does all this stuff happen because you know all this stuff happens before Arkham Asylum you know Barbara becoming Batgirl then getting um you know handicapped by the Joker um Jason being killed by the Joker but not really um Tim taking over obviously you know for a few years being Robin and then becoming Nightwing for Dick Grayson a bunch of other stuff as well so again it's like we still don't know the exact timeline of how stuff is like separate from each other, you know, in terms of, of span of time. But, but I just wanted to talk about this in a video because I thought that was very interesting, to be honest with you. It's something I saw. I was like, okay, there's, they're definitely setting up some, some cool stuff. And um, if anything, you know, I, I would wish they would make a full console game, you know, triple A game that, you know, I, I, I would go through the roof with excitement, but if anything, they could just make another continuation of this, or have it have, have it take place in another um, setting, where it's like, maybe it's a few years after this, so it's like, Batman's already more recognizable, we're getting to the Batman that we know of, you know, before, you know, during the events of Arkham Asylum, so it's like, that type of Batman, like, you know, maybe we could get to that point now, but who knows, because, again, as far as I know, there has to be a, at least seven years before asylum i, I mean I, I again i i really really don't have any clue for for because again I, I just count this as arkham origins timeline since it's, it's, it's literally only a couple months after the, the first game and as far as i know people were saying online that this game takes place like what seven years before um asylum i know batman was already batman for two years from by now you know during the events of the game but i i again i i don't know but yeah it gives robin I mean, oh my gosh. Imagine they turn this to like a full game where it's like you can play it both, as both of them. Oh my gosh. I, I know for a fact that um, a, a, a um, modern AAA Arkham game would just go so hard in terms of graphics and combat. 
I mean, I mean, we we heard Rocks today doing some stuff. You know that th there's a possibility that it might be um, making another Batman game based on rumors and reportings online by these insiders. But it's like we we don't have exactly enough information to see if it's true or not. But you know, continue the archivers. Yeah, continue. I mean, there's lots of stuff you could go through before you even get to the point of addressing the future of the brand based on you know one specific game that. Even though I enjoy it to some extent, does lots of damage in terms of continuity based on what happens.